So it's quite early in the morning. I've uh, just woken up. Uh, I've read some comments from from the last video I put out, uh, asking some advice on a uh, charge controller issue I was having, and it's become pretty clear to me that I obviously haven't explained uh, how the system works very well um, and the relationship between RPM and voltage and how important it is and why I'm using MPPT and not diversion because a lot of comments there saying uh, why don't you use diversion, diversion is the correct thing to use ok so here's why uh, right so here's a a turbine and here's a turbine ok this is a jet of water coming and hitting the spoons on the turbine ok so if that jet of water there is moving at say let's say 10 meters a second then the turbine wheel, this spoon needs to be moving at half that speed in order for this water jet to impart all of its energy onto the spoon because it's moving at half the speed of it so all of its energy hits the spoon but it's not moving so fast that the water just flies past it so it, the turbine itself needs to move at half the speed of the jet of water now why is that? if the jet of water was hitting the turbine and the turbine was moving spinning around at the same speed as the jet of water it would impart part zero of its energy because there would be no resistance to it and the water would literally just be moving the spoons out of the way now if the turbine was completely locked still and the water was just hitting it and just bouncing off of it it would impart none of its energy because it would be still and it wouldn't be making any mechanical movement in the alternator so again if we do it again so if if the if this was moving at 25 percent of the speed of this water jet we would only be 25 percent efficient is that right no even less than that uh, yeah, 25%. No, we'd be 50% efficient. If this was moving 25% the speed of that, we'd be 50% efficient. Still no good. So, the relationship between nozzle velocity and RPM is critical for this. It is not like wind. Wind can blow on a turbine, RPM doesn't matter that much. It does a little bit, but not that much at all. Hydroelectric RPM is very, very critical. So, this nozzle velocity in my system at 25 psi, the nozzle velocity, um, basically I don't actually, I can't calculate the nozzle velocity because my math isn't that good, but the velocity of this water makes this turbine spin at one, uh, 100 volts. Okay, so the logic says that if it's spinning at 100 volts in free spin, it needs to be locked at 50 volts to get maximum efficiency out of it. Now, if I use a dump load controller, which is what the majority of people suggest, which is incorrect for this scenario, as far as my understanding is, and I'm quite sure this is how it works, I haven't set it to that, but I'm quite sure how, how it works, is that it will lock the voltage to the battery voltage. So it will lock the voltage to 24 volts, between 24 and 28 volts. If it does that, we're in the realms of, of losing all of our efficiency. So that's no good. Can't have that. The only way we can do that is if we upgrade our uh, battery voltage to 48 volt and then we'll be pretty close to the to the to the target voltage so that's an option but I don't really want to have to do that a better option is to use MPPT and try and lock it onto the 50 volts because then we can lock the turbine RPM to 50 volts half of the nozzle velocity and then use the MPPT uh, controllers functions to take the 50 volts turn it down to 24 volts with more amps. Okay, I hope that makes it a bit clearer for everyone as to the logic as to why to use MPPT and not the diversion control. Um, I could use diversion control but I need to change the batteries to 48 volt system so it was closer match. And the controller actually has a function to use it as MPPT for wind and I've gone through that function however it doesn't actually change the settings it doesn't actually do anything 
So upon further investigation, I found out that it could be a software issue. I have a firmware, a uh, very old, out-of-date firmware on the controller. So the next step here is to update the firmware and um, see if that helps uh, sort out the problem. And if not, we're just going to put it back to the cheaper Chinese uh, EP Ever solar charge controller because that was actually doing quite a fine job of getting the uh, efficient point. If you remember, the other charge controller in the video was seeing 300 watts sometimes. Yeah, it was a bit, it was at 300 watts, and the new one's only seeing 270. And the reason for that is because of the importance of this voltage, this 50 volts. The closer that charge controller locks on to this 50 volts, the more efficient it will be because it will mean that the turbine is spinning at half the, velocity, half the speed of the velocity of the water jet, which means that the water is imparting all of its energy onto the spoons and the spoon is then moving out of the way and the next spoon hits and the water can impart all of its energy onto that spoon. The relationship between them being perfect. So that 50 volts is key. So I hope that explains it a little bit better. Um, I can change the battery sizes, but I don't want to, and then use dump control. I'm not gonna use the dump control because I'd have to buy loads of parts and I don't really want dump control because I don't need to. In this system, that's something else I haven't explained, is because of the speed of my water isn't, isn't that uh, fast. When, if, when the MPPT controller, uh, when the batteries get full, so there's the battery and it's full up, there it is. Once the battery gets full up, the MPPT charge controller stops putting power to the battery and thus that will make the turbine start spinning faster. Now in lots of systems that would cause the turbines to just go bang 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 and just all explode everywhere and, and massive disaster. However, my turbine is rated to free spin. Uh, faster than, than the uh, speed of the water so when the charge controller gets the batteries full and the wheel free spins there's no problem for the system so there's actually no real reason for me to have a dump load I don't need one it can pull the 50 volts and turn it into more amps uh, sorry uh, less amps and then charge the battery up and then when the battery's full uh, lower the current going to the batteries and let the turbine spin back up to 100 volts. So there's no real need for me to have a dump load and that's my logic behind why I've done it the way I've done it. Excuse my lovely beautiful little drawings on a bit of plywood. So yeah, I hope that explains a little bit better as to as to why I've used a, what everyone's telling me is a solar charge controller for, for, um, for the wrong purpose, but that is the logic behind it. Um, so I hope that clears things up a little bit. Okay, I hope that was informative. Thanks so much.